actually got a phone call from Kevin Musket and uh, had a bit of a chat and asked if I was interested in joining his uh, coaching staff over in Japan and it was a no-brainer to be honest. Um, you know, coaching the J-League in one of the biggest clubs in Asia was uh, was quite easy to, to make a decision. A hard one, but to, to coach with Kev in the J-League was was uh, was quite enticing. I've known Kev for a long time. Uh, we played in the Olympic team together in 1996, so there was a, it was a campaign over about three years, and he was our captain, and um, so we played together there. Probably one of the best captains I ever played under. You know, he was always uh, a clear leader. So I've known him for a long time, coached against him, played against him, uh, played with him. He's, um, I'd, I'd say, a good friend as well. They're far superior technically um, than a lot of other leagues in Asia. Uh, I watched them uh, under Ange for a long period of time when, he, when Ange was coaching with Pete Klamowski. I watched most of Kev's games last season when he took over Yokohama. Their philosophies and attacking brand of football. Um, that, that is key for their supporters and their club. Nakagawa, the left-sided winger, is um, a special player. Um, but you know, you, you've got the Brazilians that, that, that work so hard. Wouldn't be nice of me if I had to single out one player and say I just want to work with him because the whole team, when, when I look at, at what they do and the way they play, is quite exciting. And the goalkeeper, you know, he's uh, very aggressive with the ball and very aggressive without the ball as well. So it's, it's uh, also exciting to to work with a team that, that actually plays with the goalkeeper when they're, when they're in, in controlled possession and, and that's what they do as well. Look, I'm really looking forward to the challenges over there and, and their culture. I, I um, have played with a number of Asian players, coached a number of Asian players as well. Uh, Japanese, we've got the Japanese boy in Adelaide, uh, Hiroshi Basuki. I'd love to learn the language as well. I've, I've been trying a little bit, ask uh, Joe Coletti who's half Japanese, half Italian. Uh, how to say a fair few things in, in Japanese, so it's, uh, it's very exciting to be a part of uh, Japanese football and also the Japanese culture. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.